It's Sunday, December 7th, 2014, and I'm Jim Sullivan with your NeilWeather.com video forecast. It is a bright but chilly day out there so far. As of 11.15, there are a few wispy high clouds moving in from the west, but other than that, it is pretty much completely sunny. Temperatures in the low to mid-30s, and there is a bit of a northeasterly breeze, so it is still quite chilly out there today, but no precipitation or really any clouds to worry about this afternoon. Taking a look across the entire country now, nothing too uncommon for early December going on here. It is generally chilly across the northern half or so of the country and in the Rockies. It is a bit warmer across the south central and southeastern U.S., nothing too extreme. We have a low pressure system moving across the upper plains. It's in North Dakota right now, that little swirl on satellite that's going to move into the Great Lakes over the next day bring us eventually a chance for a little bit of rain and snow. There's also some moisture here across the southern plains. That'll move east and eventually combine with this low pressure system in the northern plains to produce a pretty interesting storm for the northeastern United States by Tuesday and Wednesday. But for today, nothing too newsworthy going on across the country. Coming back to Cleveland, looking at the numbers, yesterday we did 40 and 34, not too far from the averages of 41 and 29. Today's records are 67 and 5 below zero. We saw 64 hundredths of an inch of rain at Hopkins yesterday. We're running a little bit above normal on the monthly precipitation, but we've only seen a trace of snow on the month of December so far. Well above normal on the yearly precipitation. Sunrise 740, sunset 458 this evening. And for the rest of today, we're going to continue with sunny skies, a few very thin high clouds moving through. They, they won't really do anything to block the sun. High temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, so chilly. Tonight, the clouds will begin to thicken with lows in the mid to upper 20s. All right, taking a look ahead at the next few days on one of our forecast computer models. Today, high pressure in control. It'll be to our northeast, but it'll be close enough to keep us dry and mostly sunny. Into tonight, you can see this low pressure system starting to gradually get closer. We, we will be dry tonight and through pretty much most of the day Monday. However, we will increase the clouds for Monday. We'll get into a southerly to southwesterly wind on Monday. That'll help us warm up into the 40s. So it'll be a little bit warmer than average tomorrow, although you'll still need the light jackets, nothing to really run around in shorts over outside. Monday night, the low pressure continues to gradually approach, and a cold front moves through either late Monday night or Tuesday morning with some light rain showers. And you can see this low pressure system gathering steam off the east coast. This could produce a lot of rain and wind for areas close to the coast. You can see these isobars, these lines are packed very closely together, so there's going to be a very strong onshore wind from Virginia points north into parts of southern New England, so there will be a lot of coastal erosion and maybe even some coastal flooding in those areas, and this will impact flights to and from the east coast this week, so if you're traveling, keep it in mind. As we roll through Tuesday, you can see continued light precipitation back in our area. The east coast low is going to take over, so we're just going to be sort of left with the sloppy seconds here in Ohio with maybe a little bit of lake-enhanced rain or eventually snow by later Tuesday through Wednesday. Maybe a little bit of very light accumulations in the snow belt, but this doesn't look like a big deal for us. Parts of the interior in upstate New York and into New England and the higher elevations could see a lot of very heavy wet snow from the system with a lot of rain and wind for the big I-95 city. So this will impact travel to the East Coast through Wednesday. Here we are on Wednesday. This storm is going to be very slow moving. It is still hitting New England and the Mid-Atlantic pretty hard with just a little bit of light snow, maybe some lake enhancement here in Ohio. As we head towards Wednesday night and Thursday, this system slowly begins drifting east with high pressure trying to build in from the west, so we're hoping to eventually dry out here by Wednesday night or Thursday. Here's what that looks like on your seven-day forecast now. Cloudier, but a little bit warmer for Monday. High temperatures in the mid-40s. We bring in those rain showers for Monday night. Those rain showers eventually mix with snow by Tuesday. High temperatures on Tuesday back into the 30s, so Tuesday won't be the nicest of days. 
with some late rain and snow showers floating around. By Tuesday night and Wednesday, it looks like it'll be all snow showers. They'll be light, and hopefully those snow showers will end at some point by Thursday morning. There could be a few areas that see some minor accumulations, mainly south and east of Cleveland, with a northerly wind flow in those lake-enhanced areas, maybe an inch or so by Wednesday night. And then Thursday, we hope to dry out and break into some more sunshine. It'll still be chilly. Friday and Saturday, we gradually warm up, although nothing above the mid-40s, it looks like, through next Saturday. But I'll, but it looks like we'll hopefully stay dry for next weekend. All right. With NeoWeather.com, I'm Jim Sullivan. Check us out again tomorrow.